it even as a nightmare because it's past a nightmare because it's when you come up you've seen that bus and you didn't know it was a bus you just knew like oh my god there's you're a fortunate guy because and at that point i hadn't seen any other hockey player standing or anybody we have players on our team that know players from the humble broncos and just uh it impacts everyone right now gut wrenching to think we're on the bus every game going away and it's just We've all been there and how fast things can happen is crazy to think about. I'm getting emails and phone calls and text messages from people that I, I don't even know who they are. You know, I get a text message from somebody that has just a number there and an area code from I don't even know where and it just says, we're with you, we're behind you. We pray for those families and thinking about them. And I don't know what else to say, but uh, you know, a horrific, horrific accident, a tough day. It really hit close to home. Um, it was a horrible accident and I'm part of a hockey community, so it was something that I could really relate to. Still raw, absolutely raw. Uh, there's still a void there that, that's probably going to be there for the rest of my life. Everybody takes their te healing time differently, and there's different things that happen. And so, for some people, this will help, and for others, it won't help. But uh, for me, this day is huge in the healing process. It was an emotional game. Um, it's nice to see the community behind us. Um, it was nice to have the building packed. It's a step forward. So now we, we kind of just keep building off that. Mm -hmm.